All right, and here we have an Auric Magnesium, one of the RS models, which I think stands for radio signal, because um, there's actually a radio transmitter in this handle that's powered by a battery, which is accessible via this compartment, and then there's a receiver in the base of it. That's always been kind of a weird thing to me. I mean, you know, it's not that hard to conceal a wire, but... It's an interesting design, at least compared to other Oryx. I mean, it still works in a very similar way, it's just set up differently. And uh, there aren't too, many, aren't too many parts that actually seem to be made of magnesium. There's a lot of plastic. Hmm. Actually, that might... Eh, I can't remember. Lots of plastic. I know for sure that the uh, handle up here is metal, so that might be magnesium. And I'm pretty convinced that this piece down here is magnesium, because as I was washing it, the hard part of the brush would hit it and it would sound really funny. But due to the weight, I'm like, isn't this plastic? So, oh, kind of a... Uh... And I think the brush roll's a bit worn on here. I mean, I know they were shorter than a lot of other Auric brushes, so maybe I'm just mistaken. But it kind of seems to me like they went backwards a little bit with the magnesium line. Because it seems like they shrunk the fill tube back down, despite it having a larger fan than the old XL series. It just doesn't make sense to narrow your air path when you've already had machines like the 21 that had a, a larger fill tube to it for better airflow. And then they use a slightly different bag than the other Oryx, having a round opening, different bag dock. And then it's a partially, I, I don't want to say it's like a hard case body, but there's definitely some more solid elements to this bag than there is with a lot of other Oryx, you know, like this the side panels are flexible, but a little more solid. Some machines with circuit boards will consume a little bit of power when they're plugged in. In this case, I'm assuming it's for the radio receiver. It's just kind of waiting to get a signal. I mean, maybe that's not the case. But uh, let's start this up on low speed.
I don't know what that was. You know, it's a pretty nifty little machine, I think. It's like, you know, they should have kept the wider fill tube, but it has such a small brush area here that even though the airflow is lower, it's still pretty concentrated. And I think it does a pretty good job. I know on hard floors, it because um, I, I did test that once with sand between three different Oryx. That was with my... Because this is my second magnesium. That was my first magnesium. And, uh, yeah, the magnesium did the best on hard floors of the three. Followed by the 21 and then the uh, old style teal one I have. But, yeah, decent little machine.